The Energizer Bunny is a marketing mascot of Energizer batteries that started in 1988. Thank you for your suggestion. Welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday. So stay tuned on a random Thursday for a new remade video of an old video that I did before. Thanks. What is thy bidding, my master? There is a great disturbance in the forest. Get his battery. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Nothing outlasts the Energizer battery. It keeps going and going. The first Energizer Bunny commercial was broadcast on the United States television on October 30th, 1988. So if you're wondering if the Energizer Bunny looks eerily similar to the Duracell Bunny, then you're not alone. The Duracell Bunny, which first appeared in television advertising in 1973, a full 15 years before Energizer introduced its mascot. In Duracell's Drumming Bunny commercial, Duracell had purportedly trademarked the Drumming Bunny character, but whether they had or not, the said trademark had lapsed by providing Energizer an opening to create their own trademark. The Energizer Bunny was promoted as being able to continue operating indefinitely or at least much longer than similar toys or other products using rival brand's batteries. With the marketing tagline, it just keeps going and going. The American Energizer commercials, which was produced by DDB Chicago Advertising, originally began as a parody of TV advertisements for rival Duracell. The criticism was that Duracell compared their batteries with carbon zinc batteries and not similar alkaline batteries like Energizer. The creative team at DDB Chicago, who conceived and designed the bunny, chose All Special Effects Company to build the original Energizer bunny, a remote controlled prop. All Effects operated the Energizer bunny in most of its first commercials. Later commercials were made by Industrial Light and Magic, Cafe FX, and Method Studios. As the series progressed, realistic looking commercials were aired for fictional products such as Sitagan Hemorrhoid Remedy, Nasotine Sinus Relief, Trey Coffee, etc., only to have the bunny marching through beating his drum because he was still going. To date, the Energizer Bunny has appeared in more than 115 commercials. In these commercials, a voiceover would announce one of the various slogans used throughout the years. All of them would relate to the stalwartness of the Energizer Bunny, to the long-lasting power of their batteries. Those commercials, with the bunny interrupting all of the action in a commercial, were eventually spoofed in the 1993 film Hot Shots Part 2. From 1993 to 1995, Energizer ran a series of commercials featuring a fake rival battery called Supervolt, including a Supervolt Weasel mascot, which was an obvious lookalike of Duracell. In many of the later commercials, film villains such as Darth Vader, the Grim Reaper, the Wicked Witch of the West, King Kong, Wile E. Coyote, and Boris and Natasha would try to destroy or capture the bunny only to see their complications arise when their devices, using Supervolt batteries, ran out. When Energizer's 1988 parody became an advertising success and Energizer trademarked its bunny, Duracell decided to revive the Duracell bunny campaign and filed for a new U.S trademark of its own, citing the original use of the character more than a decade earlier. The dispute resulted in a confidential January 10, 1992 out-of-court settlement where Energizer and its bunny took exclusive trademark rights in the United States and Canada 
and Duracell and its bunny took exclusive rights in all other places in the world. In 1991, Energizer Holdings unsuccessfully sued the Coors Company for copyright infringement for creating a parody of its Energizer Bunny ads. Energizer was the corporate sponsor of Star Tours at the Disneyland Park in Disney's Hollywood Studios for several years. In February of 2016, Energizer filed a trademark infringement and contract violation lawsuit against Duracell. Energizer alleged that Duracell was using a pink bunny in its advertising in the United States and did not have any trademark rights in the United States in a pink bunny and had violated an agreement between Energizer and Duracell governing the use of the pink bunny trademark in the U.S. The Energizer Bunny has indeed become an 80s and 90s pop culture icon, but the success of the ad campaign has been mixed. Despite the immense popularity of the campaign, sales of Energizer batteries actually went down during the years that the ads ran. Duracell claimed that 40% of its customers thought the campaign was promoting Duracell, not Energizer, but provided no evidence. Speculation has it that TV watchers still associated pink bunnies with Duracell, so the Energizer ads were actually helping their competitor sales rather than their own. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.